Hey, John here with Real Hard Reviews, as well as the wonderful people at Overclockers.com, and today is a collaboration video. We're hoping to just start doing a lot more collaborations this year, and our first one will be with the wonderful people at Overclockers.com. What have they done for us today? Well, they have collaborated with us with the Ryzen reviews, as well as the new 5700s. The reviews are written and charted by the wonderful people at Overclockers.com, and there's no one we trust more than the awesome people at overclockers.com. So today we have the R9 3900X and the R7 3700X, two absolutely premium Zen 2 architecture CPUs. People have been flying all over the place with rumors on these two processors, and I'm here to tell you, 90% of those rumors were right. Almost as close as 99. These are impressive processors, and they really do make Intel shake in their boots. Intel's been sitting on the sideline for a long time. They've been at the top, so why did they try? They tick-tock with their little tiny modifications each time. Ryzen came out, boom, they gave us two more cores on all their processors. Awesome. That's great for the consumer. When there's competition, the consumer always wins. And today, the consumer has definitely won. We are now moving into 8-core, 16-thread, 12-core, 24 thread, 16 core, 32 thread consumer processors. No, that is not extreme edition. That is consumer. With that, I'm not going to tease you any farther. Let's jump right into the charts and see what Ryzen 2 can really do. Thank you. So across all our charts and tests today, we'll be using very similar rigs. The only change will be for the 2700X, we'll be using the Crosshair 7 for the 3700 and the 3900, the Crosshair 8 and the Mag X. 570 godlike and for the intel test we'll be using the asus rogue maximus apex x everything else will stay the same the only other changes we will see across there is cooling on the older amd and the new intel processors you will be seeing an evg clc 240 and on our new ryzen 3700 and 3900x we will be using the amd wraith prism rgb this is a beautiful cooler and we will get into just how cool it is right now now when it comes to cooling on the R7 3700X, using the stock cooler, we're seeing on average about 66 degrees on our stress test. For the 3900X, we are only seeing 75 degrees, between 71 and 75. This is really impressive for the stock cooler, as these are 8-core 16-thread and 12-core 24-thread processors. Quickly jumping into power consumption, we are seeing 60 and 65 on idle, and 160 and all the way up to 220 at full power consumption use. This is actually completely phenomenal for an 8 core 16 thread and a 12 core 24 thread with a system like this. Very impressive AMD. Now jumping into the benchmarks, we have 3D Mark using the Fire Strike Extremes, and as always, higher is better. For the physics, the Intel 9900K is getting 24,164, comparing to the 3700X at 24. 1719. So as you can see, even the lower end Ryzen 7 is demolishing the i9 at this point. And the 3900X is coming in at a 28,602. This is extremely impressive. Those more cores really do help in these cases. Now we jump into what I know you've been waiting for, the gaming benchmarks. 1080p, you may be asking, why not 4K? Well, at 4K, you're now more or less relying completely on the GPU and a lot less on the processor. So at 1080p, we're going to completely be drawing all our power on the processors here. And for F1 2018, Intel is getting out a slight margin of a lead here. 143 on the 990, 142 on the 8700, and 141 on both AMDs. So more cores and a slightly higher boost, definitely not helping at this point. But the Results are definitely so close for margin of error. They are almost exactly the same, which is very impressive. Far Cry 5 gets very interesting at 130 frames per second for the Intel 990K, 122 for the i7-8700, and for the 3900X, we are seeing 110 frames per second, whereas the 3700X, we are seeing 115. I believe this reasoning is behind the higher boost clock being not as helpful as the higher base clock of the 3700X, as Far Cry 5 uses more than one core, with that multi-threading all at a higher boost rate than one single core really does seem to help at this time. Next we have Shadow of the Tomb Raider DX12, and we are seeing some really big changes here. Intel drops behind, the i9-9900K is now getting 114, the 8700, 115, 
the 3900X is getting 115 and the 3700X gets 116. Just, just getting out that lead there by one frame per second. Last, we have Ashes of the Singularity. Running again at DX12, we are seeing on the 990K, 67 frames per second. On the 8700K, 67.3. It's got to get that little 0.3 in just to beat it by a little bit. And the 3900X, we are seeing 67. And on the 3700X, we are seeing 66. Leaving them so close, we could chalk this up to margin of error. Now, overclocking on a stock cooler is not always recommended, but we were able to achieve 4.35 on both processors, which is quite a leap over that stock 3.5 and 3.6, and this is on all cores, turbo disabled, and will give you a great result for gaming and benchmarking. With that, we end off our review of the 3900 and 3700X. Thank you, Sean Jennings and the Overclockers.com team for such a industry-leading fine review, as always. With that... This is an amazing processor. Both of them are great options for anybody looking for a top of the line, extremely powerful processor that gives the i7 and i9 a run for its money. This is no longer a, if you're looking for value by AMD, it's if you're looking for anything by AMD. AMD has really stepped up the bar. With that, thank you so much, overclockers.com. And to all our fine fans, Thank you so much for 5,000 subs, hopefully to 5,000 more this year before we're out. I know it can happen. You guys do too. Please smash that sub button. Like, comment, you know the subscribe. And with that, link to the full review in the description below, scrolling in front of you, as well as please hit our affiliate links if you're going to be buying Zen. The affiliate links are in the description below. And have yourselves a phenomenal day. This is John signing out. Have a good one.